Breaking news: The world's richest woman, Miss Yates, is back town today. The airport and nearby roads were closed. What turmoil will he move cause after she returns? Stay tuned for updates. Miss Yates is said to have built a giant business empire in just five years. The royal family treated her as a guest of honor. A single picture of her is worth half a million. Look, there she is. Miss Yates, may I ask why you're doing it? Miss Yates, may I ask why you? Wow, gorgeous! May I have your autograph, ma'am? Mr. Williams, the richest man in Kadena, wanted an appointment. Occupied. Miss Yates, your comeback has triggered major volatility in the stock market. Do something. Miss Yates, Houston's RS Group called you out. They're the matter in the capital. What should we do? It's a good day for bankruptcy. Yes. Miss Yates, Kadena's real strength is the understated Smith. Do you want to say hello to them? Smith? They can wait. Till I finish my work. It's been five years. Here I am. <sighs> Get there, Claire Young. Tomorrow you'll be doomed. <laughs> Where is he? We have to catch him. Uh, don't. I will marry you. Claire Young has a kid out of Willow. The Young seems to discover and pass away. Their property was claimed by their adult daughter. <laughs> Claire Young. Floria, what do you want? I want all of Young to die so I can take your money. You're the only thing in my way. Catch her. Yes, yes. Stop! 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 Henry, I'm so sorry. I can't take care of you. This is where I have you accidentally. Hopefully, you will live a happy life. How is everything going? We set her up with the property investment. She took the bait. Good. Get her to put all her assets into it. Got it. Flora Young, it's been five years you made me lose my parents and my son. When I find my son, I will make you pay for this. You saw her father, son. I'm going over there. No, we just return. I'll let you get on. Okay. Where is Henry? I believe he's a gentleman beater. Nothing special about the owner. Five years ago, he met Harry by accident while working at the hotel. Coincidentally, he is Harry's biological father. Working at a hotel and living in gentleman villa. So Flora set me up with a rented boy. Get the car. We're heading to gentleman villa. Henry, you haven't eaten anything all day. Get some food. Harry's miss. What do you want? I've taught you many times. Your mother is gone. You will meet her again.
Henry! Who are you? How did you get in here? How did you get in here? I'm Henry's mother. I was forced to leave him five years ago. I'm bringing him back. So you're a dead woman. You must put a lot of effort to get here. But you want to take Henry. Think again. I don't care what you want. Take the card. And get out. Let me know if you need any help in the future. But you won't see Henry again. I'm Henry's mother. Why can't I take him? His mother? You're a woman who left your son on the street. Besides, Harry's education costs a lot of money. Can you afford it? You. I want my mom. Harry Smith. Come here. Don't talk to him like that. I want mom and dad together. Sir, Henley just said it out loud. He never said he wanted anyone before. This is the mother-son bond. We need to talk. Harry does need a mother. I'm going to make an agreement with you. We'll get married. Get married? I don't want to risk pushing it. Better stay here with Henry. Then I'll see what I can do. Okay. My mom is back. My mom is back. My mom is back. My mom is back. Forgive me, Henry. I won't leave you alone again. Mom, I'm starving. I'll take you to lunch. Let's go. My friend is here too. Go say hello to him. You guys go first. Okay. Miss Yes, room two one one is for you. I made the reservation. Okay, I got it. Let's go. Bro, been a while. You're here alone. Did you say to bring your boss to me? My boy is the richest lady in the world. She wouldn't meet anyone lightly. So you find your son's mother. Where is she? I want to see her. She must have something special. Otherwise, you won't fall for her. Wait until I meet your boss first. Then I will bring you to her. You haven't changed. So calculating. Let's finish this. My boss needs me. Flora, why are we here? This is the fanciest restaurant in the capital. I heard that Miss Yates and Mr. Yale have booked a table here. If we impress him, we'll be loaded. Let's go. Henry, what's your favorite food? Claire Young. Stop! 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 Hey, I said stop. Where we go now? Give it up. My poor soul is drowned in the ocean. I'm not going to die before I'm done with her. What can you do? You look like you're homeless. You live on food eggs, don't you? She has to be. Is this your illegitimate son? So you can get more food? You'd better teach your dog manners. You're lucky I'm happy. I'll let you go this time. Watch your mouth. You're no longer Miss Yang. Your life is as valuable as the summer end. How dare you beat her? I said teach your dog manners. If you don't do it, I'll do it for you. Mom, you're so cool. Get off. It's my lunch time. Wait, lunch? <laughs> this is the fanciest restaurant in the capital. And you are poor. You can't even afford the chopsticks. If anyone could take care of it, two homeless people get in here. Don't interrupt my business with Mr. Eel. You don't want to do that. Mr. Ill. Gavin Ill. You know him? Yeah. Mr. Ill works for the world's richest woman, Miss Yates. I didn't know that Mr. Ill had an appointment with you. Wow, wow, wow. What did you say? As if you know him. How could she know Mr. Ill? 
She doesn't know what an honor is it to be dying with Mr. Yale. When I speak to Mr. Yale, he will introduce me to Miss Yates. I can leverage it to expand my business. I could be super rich soon. You can't do anything but be jealous of me. Really? Then I have to tell you, this is not gonna happen. What did you say? Who are you? You think you're Miss Yates? You think you can tell Mr. Yale what to do? Get the fuck out of here with your son. I don't want to annoy Mr. Yale. Who say annoy? Who say I annoy? <gasps> Mr. Yale, I can't believe he's here. They say you know Flora Young, and you'll have lunch with her. What's your manner? You can't talk to Mr. Eel like that. Flora, ignore her. You have things to do. Mr. Yale, thank you for your time. I'm Flora Young, CEO of the Young Group. Do I know you? Mr. Yale, what do you mean? Aren't you here to meet Flora? You can't be here for Claire Young, right? I'm here to... The Young Group? Never heard of it. I have a lot of things to take care of. I don't have time for this. You tore up your business card. Don't ever show in front of me again, or I'll be annoyed. Excuse me. Flora, what should we do? If you don't get the invitation, you won't be able to see me yet. So she wants to meet me. It's all your fault. It's on you. Stop. What did you do? Who are you? No wonder. He has to be her boyfriend or something. You have a pretty face, but horrible taste. You're dating Claire Young. Maybe he doesn't know she was hooked up five years ago and got pregnant out of wedlock. Yes, Claire Young is nothing but a whore. I bet she doesn't know her son's father. You don't mind being cheated on. Dare you! If you install my fiance and my son again, I will make you regret it. You. Let's go. Just ignore him. And stop it. Why don't you ask me about that? Our marriage is just like a job offer. You don't have to tell me everything. Hmm. Honey, have a shrimp. Oh. Mao, why don't you get that one? You love that, don't you? Of course. I love your dad, of course. Well, then give that one. Okay. I'll give him a big one. How about it? Thank you. I have to take this. Mm, okay. Hello? Miss Yes, your reception is in three days. Claire Young is on the guest list. Want me to cancel her? No. Since she wants to see me, let's make her dream come true. Can I have three more? You don't need my permission for that. Okay. I go it down for you, Miss Yes' recession in three days. I will send you three invitations. Don't be late. Thank you. I will bear your dream, dear. In three, in three days. days, you go first. A dinner in three days. You and Harry should come with me. In three days? How could it be? It won't take you long. Okay. I didn't expect that the dinner Marcus mentioned was actually the reception party for me. But as a male prostitute, where did he get the invitation for my party? 
How have you been lately? It's really desired to be a CEO or young good. The jolly you are beautiful and tanned, but just in five years you turn to the younger into one of the top aristocratic families in the capital. Mom, is Dad not coming? Dad has something to attend to. He'll come later. I'll take you in first. I heard that Mr. Yeo, the assistant to the mysterious female billionaire, is organizing this banquet. Right now, Miss Yeo is indeed a well-regarded figure in front of Mr. Yeo. Flora is specifically invited on Mr. Yeo's recommendation. He will introduce her to Miss Yates. As for the rest of you, you can flatter Flora a bit. Hey, don't say that. Everyone rest assured. In the future, with me, if I get a bite, you will definitely get a sip. When Miss Yates and Mr. Yeo arrive, I'll make sure to introduce you properly. Inviting the esteemed Miss Yang to join the banquet. Why is it her? Claire, you dare to show up again. Last time you embarrassed me in front of Mr. Yale, and I haven't settled the score with you yet. Now, you dare to appear in front of me again? Miss Yang, do you know this person? Of course. Everyone listen up. This is Miss Yang, the doctor of Yang's five years ago. Due to getting pregnant before marriage, she not only angered her parents to death, but also got kicked out of the house. Who is this person? I have no idea. How does she still have the face to bring this illegitimate child here for free meal? Carrie, didn't I warn you last time with a slap? Flora, look at her! Claire, this banquet is personally organized by Mr. Yale, attended by the rich and powerful. It's not your place to show up here. Exactly! You freeloaders have no right to boost in front of Flora! Miss Xiao is someone from Mr. Yale's side. Offending her is like offending Mr. Yale. I reckon you're not of a lean anymore. Someone like you surely doesn't have an invitation. We'll have someone throw her out right away. Throw her out! Wait a moment. Who said I don't have an invitation? <laughs> Claire, you've become quite bold now, huh? Even daring to forge an invitation. Now you've even learned to swagger and deceive. You're crazy. This is an event personally organized by Mr. Yu. You actually dare to use a fake invitation to deceive people. Mr. Yu is known for his decisiveness. You're quoting that for being a fake invitation. No sense. My mom will never lie. Poor people like your mom can't even afford a gift to attend such an event. Let your mom obtain an invitation. That's right. Chess like you. Have no right to be here. Have you seen this jade birder? It's the gift I brought today. Worth 15 million. And this is a limited edition pink diamond. Worth 20 million. This is a loyal medal from a foreign monarchy, worth 30 million. Look at mine! The world's only, most expensive jade bracelet, worth 100 million. Scared yet? Darling, I want to borrow your pendant for a moment. I'll get you an even better one next time, okay? Mm. And this is my gift, a one-of-a-kind jade goddess, worth a billion. Are you out of your mind, Claire? This pendant looks like it's made of plastic. Hilarious! A billion? Even ten bucks would be too much. Why bother with the jade goddess? It's just rubbish. You might get away with putting it on your son, but bringing it here as an event gift? You must be blind or something. Can't tell the right situation. Seriously, Claire, today is the reception of Miss Yeo's, the world's number one filial billion. This gives are all for her. How do you mock her? Mr. Yeo is known for seeking revenge. You better get ready to leave the capital. Kneel down and apologize to me sincerely. I may consider putting in a good word for you in front of Mr. Yeo to spare you. Do you deserve it? You... I'll tell you. Don't push your luck, Claire. Yeah, just kneel down and apologize to Flora. Otherwise, when Mr. Yale arrives, he will make you regret it! Who told you to throw it away, Flora? This is the gift I give to my son as a meeting present. I'm doing this for your own good, Claire. Mr. Yale is an anti-collector with a discerning eye. At a glance, he can tell if something's authentic or fake. If you use counterfeit goods to deceive people at this event, you might not even know how you'll meet your end. So bring someone here and take these two out. Break their legs. Don't want them to annoy Mr. Yale. Who say just now they are annoying? Mr. Yu. I remember that I distinctly talk to you. Stay away from me, Flora. Don't test me. Gods, what happened? You no, Mr. Yu. It wasn't her. This bitch started it. She came in with some cheap pen and trying to fool you. Flora got angry and smashed it. Is that so? 
Well, then let me see. This Jay Goddess isn't real. You're in deep trouble now, Claire. But if you ask me nicely, maybe I can help you plead with Mr. Yale. Flora, this bitch seems determined to cause problems. You won't be able to stop her. I think it's you. This Jay Goddess is clearly real. Not possible. How could this worthless thing be real? What? Do you doubt my expertise? I have an international appraiser certificate. If you don't believe me, I can testify here. No need, no need. We wouldn't dare to question Mr. Ye's authority. Nah, how can you tell Mr. Ye? But this bitch Claire, how could she afford such a valuable gift? She must have... Oh, she must have stolen it! You're a danger thing. There's a limit to chandeliers. Bring in some street market drunk to try and fool me, and now you're bottling and spotting noses here. Hey, someone, take these two ideas who causing a ruckus to the police. They saw they could pull her and Miss Daya got they were headed. No, let me go! On what grounds are you arresting me? Based on you smash Miss Young's J Goddess pendants. And this pendants was a billion. A billion? You don't know, this kind of hurry, has nothing to do with me! You freeloader! What's wrong with you? This point my usual coin is to you! Flora, don't you want it spread at the police station? Now we need to produce a billion cash here. What? Can't you reduce it? How is that possible? Anyway, I'm the CEO of Young Group. But this is not a small amount, and surely requires written proof. Fine, I'll give you three days. If you can reduce a billion cash, get ready to go to jail. Throw them up. Let's go! I can't walk on my own! Looks like it's better to stay out of sight for now. Got it. I ain't going to the things now. Mm -hmm. Let me go! Let go of me! Looks like it's better to stay out of sight for now. Mom, why isn't that here yet? Dad will be here soon. Being late, what happened? Are you and Harry okay? We're fine. There was just a misunderstanding about the gift. It's been sorted out. What woman? I need to take a call. Hello? What's up? Miss Yang, I figure out who was responsible for your past troubles. Layman's, Chandler's cells. His father ever tried to meet with you several times before. Alright, got it. Sorry, I have to go. Can't stick around with you guys. You go ahead. I'm leaving. Grandpa, you are at the entrance of the banquet hall. Harry and I will come to escort you. What's so extraordinary about it? Can't you see? Oh, come on. I was just filming about Claire, and now I almost run into you, old man. You should say sorry to me now. Hey! You stubborn old man still want to argue with me, huh? Believe it or not, I'll have someone break your legs. Hold on. What are you doing? And why is it you again, bitch? Can't you leave me alone? Just because Mr. Yale spoke up for you doesn't mean he's got your back. He's just beating you like a dog. How I am is none of your business. Focus on your own billion cash. You... you just wait. Sir, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. My bones are still holding up. Hey, which lady are you? Here for a banquet too. I'm Claire. Oh, excuse me, sir. I've got urgent matters to attend to. Okay, okay, I'm leaving too. Are you- Grandpa. What brings you here, my grandson? Oh, because of you. Always too busy to me. I miss my grandson. I told you before, fine mom for Harry. You never listen. Let me help you find someone. Grandpa, don't stick your noise in this. What? I stick my noise in? This is about your lifelong happiness. Or, let you forget and that go before. What was the name? Oh, Miss Davis. There was nothing between her and me. I already find Harry's mother and agreed to get married. What? You fool! 
Where did you find a woman to be Harry's mom? And you even agreed to get married. This kind of woman clearly has his eyes on your money. No matter what she can, if she can take care of Harry, it's fine. You give me her number. I will check if she is suitable to be Harry's mother. Are you planning to drive her away? You don't need to bother. I will handle my affairs. You ungrateful grandson! Hmm. She thinks if she doesn't tell me, I won't find where this woman is. Sure, she's diving at this restaurant now. Yes, sir. Hey, Gavin. I've arrived. Just come over. Are you sorry, Ryan? To you? Hmm. Is you? I'm looking for someone here. What are you doing alone? Where's your spare child? Oh, they don't live here. They'll join later. Ah,、uh, my grandson is just like you. Oh, oh, I see. You and your husband are on good terms, huh? Ah,、uh, my grandson is the same. Five years ago, he accidentally got a girl pregnant and had a kid. To go run away. Now she's come back for him. I wonder for the money, huh? I'm too old for these messy things. Prefer street kind girls like you, sweetie. Consider my grandson. Grandpa, don't joke around. Why is it a joke? Although my grandson can be annoying, he's successful in his hairy toy handsome. So, who's your grandson? My grandson is. Dear, think about it. Miss Yang, your private room is ready. Hmm. <laughs> Claire, no wonder you can afford such a valuable jade pendant. Turns out you've hooked up with an old man. See if I'd rip your mouth apart today. Claire, failing to score any perks at the party. You come here for an old guy. Your preferences are quite something. What nonsense are you spewing? Well, it's true. You're no longer the darling daughter of the youngs, just a useless person. Without relying on an old man, what can you do? Sha, how dare you to see so elegantly here? So it's you, this rotten old man. No wonder. Who else would be interested in that bitch? What are you trying to relive your youth with a bit of cash? Mind your tongue, Flora. Feeling old grand, bringing an old beggar to a swanky hotel for a free meal. Look at yourself in such a pitiful state. Pitiful? Don't forget you still owe me a billion. That jade pendant must be a gift from this old man after spending a night with him. You are so insolent. Let me teach you how to behave. You, you old scoundrel! <laughs> how dare you hit me? Believe me, I can have them break your legs and throw you out later. Call the manager right now. I want to see. Who's lashes break? All right. What are you doing here? Get your manager now. Can you handle offending me? Move. Yes. I'll teach those low lives lesson. When the manager comes, I want you all to kneel down and lick my shoes. Perfect timing. Get this trash out of here right now. Sorry, sir. Apologies for the disturbance. No. Don't you hear me? These low-class people dare to come here for a little money and act like this. Aren't you afraid of dirtying your place? You're right. Security, get them out quickly. Too much hassle. What are you daring to give orders in front of the master? Throw this woman out. If she dares to come back, break her legs. Hey, how dare you? I'm the CEO of Young Group. Young Group is nothing now. Take them away. Hold on. Looks like a billion is nothing to you, Flora. Then I'll give you until tomorrow to return a billion. Otherwise, get ready to rot in jail. You little bitch, Claire. It's just one billion. Just wait. Eh,、huh? Flora, where have you gone yet? Ran into a couple of buskills. They dare to bury my daughter. Let's go. I will teach them. No need. Let's spare them this time. Let them go for now. 
By the、mm. way, Raymond, when are you transferring me that billion? Hey, why rush? One billion is not a small amount. Why are you in such a Raymond, hurry? Raymond, what do you mean by that? Well, for the whole young group thing, the incident with her parents' death, you're in on it as well. <laughs> It's just one billion. I'll transfer it tomorrow. But you promised to arrange a meeting with Mister Yu and Missus. Don't forget. Of course. <laughs> Let's take our seats, shall we? My friends have arrived. All right. I often miss someone too. Bye, sir. All right. Bye. Miss Yang, past five years, Flora has been engaged in sexual exchange with Raymond. The slow and operation France from young girl or from Raymond is truly corrupt. However, the good news is that Flora not only put her all her sex into a travel set this time, but also convinced Raymond to invest the significant Excellent. part. Excellent. Saves me the trouble. Get ready to close in. Yeah, I prepare right away. Our future collaboration really heavy on you, Mr. Smith. Hey, you too. Why not have a drink with Mrs. Smith? Mr. Smith, <laughs> you're quite dedicated. Did、What? I say something wrong? Back then, you were just like this, climbing into my bed. Fine, considering it's for Henry's sake, I won't hold it against you this time. No, next time. Everyone, Marcus is now my boy. If you want a drink, I'll accompany you to the end. How about it? One drink isn't enough. Enough. This liquor passion punch. Can't neglect to drink with your boss. Let's continue. Let go of me! I can still handle more. Ow! Who are you? I am.、Um... Ah, you're the pimp I married. <laughs> you should fresh out the mask. Hey, where are you going? I'm thirsty. I need water. Here, has some water. Marcus, let go of me. I won't let go. Why? How can I let you go now? Why are you saying? You. What's wrong? You jerk! You're taking advantage of me. Did you grow up like this just to seduce me? Oh, for God! You're a pimp. Do you want it? Want what? Do you want it? Want what? <gasps> oh, did I say something so shameful last night? Oh, you are in last night. You last night. Nothing happened last night. Or you're insisting on. On what? I didn't say I wanted you. Insisting on drinking water and your clothes wet. So I help you change. Hmm. 
So did the wound warder. You wanted me. Although we just contracted Mary, if you have needs, I can give you what you want. You wish. There's no way I'm letting you take advantage of me again. Get out. I need to change. Fine. Hurry up and change. Harry is waiting for you to have breakfast. I've embarrassed myself enough. Good morning, my little sweetheart. Did you sleep well? Dad, Mom, why did you live together before? Do you not love that anymore? How could that be? I love your daddy, but my workplace is too far from here. Not very convenient, you know that. Dad. You should buy my own house. What are you saying, Henry? Green River's Manor is close to both places. Let's check it out later. Great, Dad and Mommy won't have to be apart anymore. You little naughty! Let's eat quickly. Dad. You must buy Mom the best house here, so she won't leave again. All right. Raymond, thanks for coming to buy houses with me today. I invested all my company's money. Otherwise, I'd have nowhere to stay tonight. Hey, no problem. Which one you like? I'll buy for you. Just help me get things done with Lucius. Whatever you want, I will buy for you. Thank you, Remand.、Mm. Let's go. Why is the bitch Claire everywhere? Let's go. Miss, my daddy wants to buy the best house here. You want to check out the houses? The best one we have is a two-story small villa worth a hundred million. No need. We just want a regular three-bedroom. If you can't afford it, just say so. Why pretend? Oh, Mr. Williams, it's a great honor to have you visit Green Rivers Manor. What type of houses are you looking for today? Let me introduce. We were here first. People like you have seen plenty. You'd be lucky to afford a small apartment. I'm a top salesperson here. You're not worthy of my service. Did you hear that, Claire? Even salespersons don't want you to serve low lives like you. If I'm a low life, what are you? You built your wealth on my family. What kind of person are you? Built my wealth on your family. The young group was originally mine. Besides, my boyfriend is Raymond, the number one on the wealth list in the capital. Unlike you, who picked up this useless nobody. Let me tell you, there's a place across the street to workers, and the workers own construction sites. To rent. Hurry, go there before it's、Don't、too late. Don't you hear what Miss Young said? Trash like you only deserves to live in refuse dumps. Hurry up, go across the street. Don't disturb Miss Young and Mr. Williams' enthusiasm for house hunting. You guys, in the eyes of the dog, are just beneath notice. <laughs> Who asked you to begin with knowing you can't afford it? Show me the best house you have. Our best house is this luxury mansion worth a hundred million. Miss Young has a great taste. It's just a mere hundred million. Do you have anything more expensive? Of course, we have a top-tier mansion worth three hundred million. <laughs> Raymond, I really like the decor of this one. Bring me to see your top-tier mansion. Why bother? Trash like you can't even afford a fraction of the top-tier villa. Trying to lie to me, saying you want to buy the best house here? There, with a jinx. I'm not lying. My daddy said he wants to buy the best house here for my mommy. <laughs> Look at this bastard. So retarded. Your dad is just a poor guy, and your mom is nothing but a bitch. One more word, and I'll rip your mouth apart. I. Raymond, she hit me. You guys are more way off. You, these poor people can't afford a house. Just trying to stir up trouble here, Flora. It's just one hundred million. Come on, I'll sign the contract right away. After sign, I'll give it to Flora. The top tier villa. I'm buying it. 
Oh, dear Bella, if you can actually pull out three hundred million from your car, then I'll call it a loss, all right? I got this. Yo, what's up? Are you trying to flaunt some beat up card, acting like you don't know if there's any cash on it or not? I forgot my card, but I know the owner here. Should be able to get a discount. <laughs> Hilarious! A discount? Who do you think you are, asking the owner for a discount? <laughs> get real! Just wait a moment. Manager, what? Are you saying to give that top tier villa to Miss Yang for free? Okay. Miss Yang, just now our manager told me that this top tier villa is being given to you for free. Free for me? Yes. <laughs> the Are you sure it's for her it and you. not the other Miss Yang here? Have some dignity. The manager means Miss Yang, the CEO of Yang Group. How could it be for trash like you? Miss Yang, this is the contract for the top tier villa. Once you sign it, this three hundred million luxury home is yours. I'll sign. My dear, who told you to give it to her? Who told you to give it to her? Such a fool who can see the obvious. Sorry, manager. You're fired. Manager, manager, please. I know I messed up. I just do it on purpose. Get lost, Miss Yang. This villa is indeed intended for you. For me? Wasn't it supposed to be discounted? Oh, why? It's clearly mine. The owner decided to give it to me for the sake of Raymond. Who do you think you are? Our boss, make it clear. This house is a gift for the real young lady, Miss Claire Young. Not some fake, inferior imitation like you. You, Raymond, look at this. You lose your mind, ah! Huh? There you bully my girl! Now you know, this gentleman is Mr. Williams, ranking first on the wealth list. Do you know who's behind me? He is our boss friend. Moreover, you can just bully people like this, Miss Williams. Green River's manner will stand your kind. Security, cut them up! And don't let her in again. Let's go. Of what you. are you doing? Let's go. Let go. To be security, how dare you? Believe or not, I will have my Tesla Dow company. This must be Claire's doing. Well. But Raymond, rest assured, the results of her cult investment will be out soon. Claire's in deep trouble. Really? Yes. I'll be waiting for your good news. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. What kind of relationship do you have with the boss? They actually gave us a house for real. Yeah, it's nothing. I said few once by accident before. Oh, saving someone's life is indeed a big deal. Great! Daddy and mommy can live together now. Well, you move out to live with me separately. Will your family not suspect anything? They don't care about me. By the way. Grandpa might already know about us. If he finds you, just ignore his nonsense. Got it. Daddy, mommy, I'm hungry. Ah, our little darling is hungry. Let's go back and have dinner. Well, I'll take a shower in the guest room. After that, I'll sleep there. You stay in the master bedroom. I will see the guest room. No need. I'll go. Daddy, mommy, are you playing the kissing game? Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Sweetheart, why don't you sleep here? Mommy, kiss the daddy. Does that mean we'll have a baby? Then I want a little sister. Is that okay? Who, who told you that kissing leads to a baby? Then how can I have a little sister? It's time for you to sleep, Harry. Daddy, mommy, can you sleep with me? Sure, we will sleep with you. All right, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Mommy.
Hmm. What's wrong, Gavin? Miss Xiao, budget from this morning has been officially halted. For us, company is now in debt for three billion. This on the urge of bankruptcy. All right, I see. I prepared the acquisition purchase as you request. The young group can finally return to its rightful owner. Does it look good? This dress is really beautiful. Yeah, it's a new design I just bought. Come, come, try it. Dad? Mom? Come on, come over here. Uh Flora, come sit. We're all family here. Here's some fruits. Are you hungry? Here's some fruits. Okay. Thanks, Dad. You won't get mad, no, right? Sis, this is for you. <laughs> I lost more than just a young group. Miss Yang. Tell Flora that if she has been waiting to see me, I'll be waiting for her in the HY Group CEO office. Oh, this trouble with the project you founded. Our company stocks plummeted instantly and the financial chain snapped within minutes. The company is on the brink of bankruptcy. What are you saying? That's impossible. How could the project I invested in suddenly fail? Well... At 7.10 today, young girl made a significant decision mistake and now it's on the urge of bankruptcy. Raymond! You damn me help me out. I need to see him. I must see him. Hold on, you can enter without an appointment. Open your eyes and look carefully. I am the daughter of Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams' girlfriend, Safi, you, a lawyer of top daughter, don't deserve it. No mm -hmm. one for you. Mr. Williams wouldn't suffer such heavy losses. Go too far. How dare you talk to me like this? Young girl is about Clarence and still acting like here. Get out of here as Mr. Williams instructs it. I will break your legs. What's with all the noises? I had them broke you here. What was the fuss about? <gasps> you owe me a ton of money and I haven't even bothered coming after you. Now you show sure at my doorstep. Ah, uh, Raymond, there are reasons for everything. Get lost. I don't want to meet less you owe me from now on. That's not me. Okay, get out. Raymond, Raymond. Hello? Flora. Ah, hello. Miss Yates wants to see me? Oh, okay, okay. I'll be right there. Ah, oh, okay. Brara, that was Mr. Yes' call. Miss Yes agrees to meet us. She agreed to meet me, not us. And yours is my right. <laughs> I got a bit too walk out and angry just now, forgive me. Brala, <laughs> I sent someone to take care of your company immediately. Tell me to see Miss Yes, how about that? <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Dad, Mom, I know I haven't been the best daughter. But I promise to make those who hurt you pay for it. Come in. Miss Yang. Miss Yang, Flora and the others are here. Sure, thank you. Yes. Flora, why Miss Yang suddenly agreed to meet you? Well, she's the one who initiated this investment. If anything goes south, she would have to take responsibility. With Miss Yates supporting us, Yang's bound to make a comeback. Absolutely. Miss Yates holds a lot of sway. A simple gesture from him can create global economic ripples. Oh, and one more thing. Once you're inside, watch your words. Let me have a chat with Miss Yates first. She's likely to appreciate an independent, self-reliant female CEO like me more than you guys. Got it. I'll follow your lead. Oh, let the thing I managed to get from Claire be ruined that easily. Let's head in. Mm. 
Miss Yates. Mr. Yale. Miss Yates. Miss Yates. These. Do so, Chris Parents. So. Miss Yates, why are you displaying these cheap bitches? Claire. As you can see, I am Miss Yates you've been longing to associate with. Don't be ridiculous. You must be out of your mind. It's all the states, the global heirs, but not the heirs among the heiresses. What's with all these errant names you set out here? Are you looking for trouble? Nonsense. When Miss Yates arrives, she will decide your fate. We'll see. We'll be your turn to stop. A low life is always a low life. Just do little bit big. Hurry up and clear this mess. When Miss Yes comes, if you get into trouble because of you, you won't get the well bit. The atmosphere here is indeed ominous. You might not know, but when your parents died five years ago, you begged me to spare you. Unfortunately, at the time, you didn't feel me. See? Go to hell, all of you! <gasps> Dad! Mom! Mom! Help! When they died! <gasps> you did hear me! Five years ago, you caused the death of my parents at Tukum and the Young Group. Today, I will ruin you, leaving you with nothing. <laughs> Weird. And nothing. I don't think you even know who I am. Stop! Mr. Yao, this person is impersonating Miss Yates. How are you afraid for a beating and throw her out? Huh? Miss Yates, so sorry for the shock. Is this person really Miss Yates? She can be Miss Yates. Laura, you're as foolish as ever. I just set a trap and you fell right into it. I've always been playing into your hands! I'll kill you, you dumb woman! Kesha, relax! Let me go! Oh, you're involved in this as well, you have to help me! Help me, please! Claire, you may even miss you, so what, huh? My father is in and the worst thing on the candidate's list. If you dare to harm me, you will have an easy time. Yeah, his father is a top-notch figure. What well, sure you can't leave here as guest. Top figures? Do you know how these so-called top figures bad to me, Miss Yo? Impossible! You have such a prominent family. Alright, even if Claire's doing well abroad, you're not willing to cut William some slack, huh? Exactly, or else you won't leave here unharmed. Women do not like to be tried with. Let us go! In front of Miss Young, he's nothing. How dare you disrespect Raymond? Raymond has already called his father. He'll be here soon, and you'll be in big trouble. Good. That's perfect. I've already invited him. Let him go. But Dad, you read our family. I will beat you all when I'm back. Dad, what's going on here? Miss Yes, I'll take him back and educate him properly. Wait. Who said you could leave? What are you suggesting? Everyone takes responsibility for their own actions. Either he turns himself in, and I won't lay a finger on your family. For from now on, there won't be the Williams in the capital. Dad, let's get out of here. Get lost. I don't have a son like you. Dad, you can just abandon me like this. Dad. Stop calling. Tie him out and take him to the palace. What? You? What are you doing? It's you, it's you, the damn bitch. I will let you off the hook. Flora, how does it feel to have nothing? It was your trap that led to all of this. If you have the guts, don't use such despicable means. Despicable? Back when you took over the young group and caused the death of my parents and then tried to wipe me out completely. Compared to that, what you experience now is just a minor set. Ha <laughs> ha I only regret not finishing off completely back then. No problem. There's plenty of time. 
I will gradually take away everything that belongs to you. Take her away. Call the media. Expose her. Former CEO of the Young Group, Lauren Stevens. Come on! And the CEO of Young Group, her Young Group went belly up, up because of her. CEO of Young Group? Nah, she's just a backstabbing bitch. Many hours to her in because she was beautiful. And she repaid them by ruining the whole family. Grabbing her stuff. This guy's saying my statements. Why would she stop that? I may have my issues, but I'm still better than you lot. Just scram, all of you. Scram! Oh, thought she was some top notch person. Top notch person, huh? That's just a straight dog. That's how we live in that room. That's what you get. Don't know what's it got to do with you, huh? What's it to you, huh? <laughs> just scram! Something wrong in the room, exactly. What the freak? Hey, guards! What do I keep you for? Where are you? Shh! You're broke! How are you gonna keep us? Type of you, you son of a bitch! Hey! Hey! This is what you wanted, Claire? Trying to snatch everything from me? Not gonna happen. Assassin organization? Help me out here. Young Gu has been acquired by the HY group. Flora is former CEO is suspected of murdering her adopted parents. Now she's on the wrong affair. Claire, Flora, what happened five years ago? What's the connection between Claire and HY group? Hey. Hey. Busy. Harry wants to go to the amusement park. Amusement park? Sure. I'll draw you in a while. No need. Harry and I to find you. Give me the address. Okay, I'll hang up for now. Mm. Mom, Dad, I've reclaimed the owls. Huh? Claire! Catch up! Yes! I okay. How did you get here so fast? Put me down. I can't walk by myself. Stop moving or I'll let you go. I'll be gentle. Daddy, blow on it for mommy and it won't hurt anymore. Since mom passed away, no one has treated me as well as he does. What happened today? That car clearly came up to me. It must be orchestrated by someone. The person you're talking about is Flora. How do you know? I saw news today. Do you have anything to explain to me? What do you want to hear? The events at your family five years ago, your relationship with Flora, and what connection you have with HY Group. Are you questioning me? I'm helping you. Those curious that they were no joke. If I hadn't stepped in on time, I would be dead. Thanks. But I don't need you involved in my future affairs. Just take care of Henry. Fine. We are just a contract couple. We won't interfere with each other. Let's go. Never mind. What happened that got you so woke up, especially coming to ask me to look for? Do you know about the Youngs in the capital? Let me find out everything that happened five years ago in the Youngs. Youngs? Why the sudden interest in the Youngs? Just do it. By the way, my wife is almost attacked outside the HY building today. What? Is she okay? She's fine, still strong enough to argue with me. She's okay, it's fine. I'm going to check on the assignment for you. Hmm. Hey, Miss Young. Help me confirm Flora's location. She's come up to me. Yeah, I send it to you if I find out. 
How coincidental! Both of them almost got hurt. Why are you useless for work? Can't even handle a simple job. Who knows her husband show up with two bodyguards in town? I couldn't find the chance. Had to back off. Her pathetic husband? What kind of tough bodyguards do you think he's got? Plus, I gave you three million. If you can't handle this small fry stuff, don't bother coming back. The target you want me to take out is the female CEO. She's always surrounded by bodyguards. No chance at the moment. What am I supposed to do? Well, her parents' passing anniversary is around the corner. She's gonna be more relaxed during the time. Grab the opportunity then. Hmm, got it. Ah, why the heck does it hurt so much? Hey, Miss Young, Farrah has been located. Keep tabs on her. See what she's scheming. Sure. Oh, Kevin. Quick question for you. Please, shoot a spill all I know. Do you know how to sweet talk a guy? Ah? Huh? Who's the lucky one you're gonna charm? Do you know how to sweet talk a guy? Ah? Huh? Who's the lucky one you're gonna charm? Well, forget it. Nothing. Go ahead and do your things. Okay. What am I even talking about? Did I lose track? Whatever. Sweetheart, what are you up to? Mommy, when is Daddy coming back? I want Daddy to play with me. Daddy might be upset with Mommy. Just say sorry and Daddy will forgive you. Really? Daddy said a man needs to be easy to win his wife's heart. Alright, I understand. It's getting late. Time for you to take a shower and go to bed. Ready to go? Mm. Where is everyone? You good? Why do you come back? Hey, stay there. Don't worry, I won't pick. Can you still move? Nah, can't budge. How could you manage to sleep in the shower? None of your business. Weren't you supposed to be gone? What are you doing here? Sure you don't need any help. Hey, Marcus. Spill it, I won't let you fall apart. Put me down! You twisted your ankle, must go to the hospital. Nah, it's just a scratch. Such a hassle. Let me check. Mommy, what happened? She twisted her ankle but refused to go to the hospital. Mommy, if you hurt, you see a doctor! Alright. Let's go. If it weren't for that thing five years ago, when Marcus and I had never crossed paths. Your bones are alright, but we need to keep you in the hospital for observation for a bit. Thanks, daughter. I'm fine now. You and Henry can head back. No! I want to stay with Mommy! How about he stays here tonight and you pick him up in the morning? I will stay and look after her, get some rest. Doctor, how's it looking? It's confirmed latest liar cancer. Impossible! No, that can't be right. I just have some occasional stomach pains. No other symptoms. How could it be? 
Let's did you have a cancer? Explain to me! I am not lying, it's literally like cancers. There must be cases in your parents' generation, did you know? Parents, you're a quack! You're a quack! No wonder they dished me back then. It's because of this genetic disease! Right now, I can try some conservative treatment to extend life. Let's go to the hospital and Mission Press is going soon. Why am I losing everything, Claire? Now I'm about to lose my life! And you're living so carefree and happy. If I'm not doing well, don't expect to be any better. Hang out with a woman like her is quite right. Grandpa, is she seriously hurt? How do you know about her in charge? I said it before, don't bother her. Hmm, how do I end up bothering her? I'm go check on my great grandson. Okay, I bring Henry down, you take him home to rest. Grandpa's here, I haven't taken care of Henry. Alright, sweetie? Grandpa misses you. Can you spend a couple of days with him? Oh! Great. I will take good care of your money. Let's go. My great grandson! Tired of the night in the hospital, huh? Huh? Grandpa, why did you just bring two broadcasts? Are you bringing me? Look at the kind of woman you found. She's always in trouble. Don't know what enemies you made outside causing trouble for my dear great grandson. I will make you regret it. Let's go, go home. You two, find two more people to follow. Yes, yes. How did the thing I asked you to check? You mean the person who almost harmed your wife, right? Yeah. I just got the video. Let me take a look. Huh, Miss Young? Hello? Claire, ever wondered how it feels to lose it all? Flora! Your son's with me right now. Where are you? Let Henry go! Alright, I'll release him when you get here. Hey, what's the pension? Oh, I just saw her limping downstairs. Hello? Bad news, Mr. Smith. The master and the young master get kidnapped. What? Since I want to to meet me, the more the better. You pray with a hot deck, Claire. Jump into any chair you find. Where to take Henry, Flora? Don't hurt him! 38 East Road. There's an abandoned mill. No cops, no backup. You got half an hour to haul over here. Otherwise, can't promise your son stays alive. Let him go! If you have a problem, come with me! Hey! The little bitch is here pretty fast. Looks more right out and the old and young. So you're Harry's mother. You better leave them and grandson come to rescue us. Shut up and stop talking nonsense. No one's leaving now. What do you want? What do I want? Kneel down first, slap herself, and we'll see. Huh? Don't slap. Alright! I'll kneel! Claire, I never expected this. As the world's top female billionaire, you end up like this. And he announce and spit it out. What do you want? All right. I want your position. As the world's top female billionaire, will you give it to me? Yeah, I'll give it to you. Too easy, but I don't want it. Now, I just want it to die. Okay, I can't die. Let him go first. Let him go first? Everything now is because of you. You ruined it all. I haven't ruined it. Your selfishness and greed destroyed yourself. Shut up. Why were you born as a wealthy girl adored by everyone while I was abandoned by my parents as an infant? Why did you get to survive even when jumping to the sea? You're so lucky. <laughs> and me? Everything I worked for is ruined. I'm gonna kill you if it weren't for you! <laughs> uh. 
You're okay. I'm fine. What happened to your face? Go see Grandpa and Henry. Today, I'm going to break your legs. Leave no one intact. Such a test. Let's see how this guy broke our legs. Laura, it was me. It was me. He bumped into it himself. No, it was you. All of this is because of you. It's not because of me. It's you. Just take them away. Take the injured to the hospital. Marcus. 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 Hold on, Marcus. Operation Rufo. No entry for patients' families. Sweetheart, don't worry too much. That guy is so tough. Grandpa, take Henry home first. I want to stay here myself. Did they expect you to be Harry's mother? I used to think he has a lost boss boss mom. Has I used you, sweet sir, you know. Sorry you to have to go through this. But, Marcos, this kid has you in his heart. He never had many friends growing up. Pray mostly with that girl from the Davis. However, she went aboard a few years ago and never came back. I later went match you. I could tell. He really likes you. When he wakes up, he'll definitely not let you down. You have to wake up, Marcus. I don't want to owe you even more. How's Marcus, Mrs. Smith? I don't know the details yet. Waiting for the test result. Thankfully, you guys are okay. Otherwise, you will rip me apart. A while ago, you even asked me for the Yasuo old records. I was afraid you'd be upset, so I didn't give to him. You ended up giving for all a chance you could use. It's all my fault. If I hadn't been so aggressive in retaliating against Flora, she wouldn't have taken such a drastic turn. Grandpa, I'm sorry. This mess is all because of me dragging you guys into it. It's not your fault. Don't worry. Even those who get their compartments. Absolutely, Grandpa. Flora has diagnosed with a hereditary disease, late stage lung cancer. She's in custody and already taken away. Do you want to go see her? It doesn't matter now. I just hope Marcus is safe. Doctor, how's he doing? The surgery went well. Once we wake up and run some chest, you'll be fine. Okay, thanks. You're awake, Marcus. You'll be here all along. Now that you're out of danger, I'll have Grandpa take Henry home first. I ask the doctor to operate some ointment or something. Sorry to disturb. Hold on, get something to say. I'm not here for you, I'm here for your wife. Miss Yang, Miss Yang, the acquisition of Yang is all done. Your identity can be revealed to the public now. All that can wait. Keep it on the down low. Alright, I'm done giving updates. You two continue. I wasn't aware that you were Miss Yang. I didn't think you were the legendary Mr. Smith, either. It's a complicated situation. I can tell that I'm one of the Smiths. I get it. So we're even! About the nine five years ago, I'm so sorry for putting you being through so much. That wasn't your fault. You are drugged too. We've both been drugged. I promise, everything I owe you, I will make it up to you. Now you know who I really am. You know it's not about the money, it's about Henry. He's the reason I married you. Only because of Henry.
What? You think it was because of you? What's wrong with that? What are you doing? I have to use the bathroom. Marcus. Marcus, what are you doing? What are you doing here? I thought you were bored. Your mother said you're in the hospital, so I came back immediately. Let me help you. No, in case you don't know, this is my wife, Claire Young. Lydia Davis, daughter of Davis Group CEO, a friend of mine. Nice to meet you. Marcus, you're married? Why did you tell me? We rushed to get married. We haven't had a wedding yet. Thinking about this, we made a deal. Lydia, I told you before. I wasn't into you, and that was before you were born. It's time to move on. Move on? We grew up together. Now you told me to move on? Is it because of I've been abroad? I had no choice. My dad sent me abroad. He said it was for us. But he did this for me, so I have to. Classic ex-girlfriend behavior. Marcus, you don't want to be with me again, do you? Miss Davis, where are you going? Let me walk you. You. Hmm. Marcus, I got you some fruits. You like fruits. I didn't know you like fruits. Oh, I'd buy some for you. No, no, I don't like it. <gasps> you should leave now. <laughs> Miss Davis, Marcus needs a bathroom. It might not be a good time. What do you mean? I grew up with Marcus. I know everything about him. No, you don't. You don't want to stay there. You better go home. It's a long way aboard a safe trip. I don't go abroad. I have come back for you. I'm not going anywhere. Your mother wants us to be married. I will be waiting in your family mansion. <laughs> She said your mother. Not my mother, don't worry. Oh, we can not keep our secret. You should come with me to my family mansion. Mrs. Lewis, I need your help. What? You probably don't know. Marcus got married with a woman, and that woman dared to provoke me, drove a wedge between Marcus and me. What? Marcus got married without telling me. I don't know how she did it, but she made Marcus into her. She must be after his money. I didn't know anything of it. She must be good with men. I'm afraid she will use Marcus against you. You are the first lady of Smith. Lydia, don't worry. You will be my daughter-in-law, only you. I will not accept any other woman. Hello? I got something to care. You go there with Henry, okay? We're home. You can talk to your grandpa soon. Stop! How do you get in here? For Mrs. Smith. Don't talk to me like that. You're not welcome here. You are Marcus' stepmother, so I address you as Mrs. Smith. If you don't show respect, then I don't have to either. Where the fuck do you come from? You have no manners, and you want to be one of the Smiths? Excuse me. I am one of the Smiths. Marcus didn't mention he has a stepmother. Guess you're not that important. You bitch! How can you talk to me like that? You are not welcome here. Get out of there! Henry, come here. You're one of the Smiths. How can you be with this bitch? 
My mom's nice. You're a bitch. Fine. You do have some strings. How long have you known him? And they are already rooting for you. You're the evil stepmother. Henry doesn't like her. Looks like Marcus' stepmother is not a nice lady. Mrs. Smith, I'm here to visit you. This is Dio's newest collection. I bought you one. Lydia, thank you for this. You're such a sweet girl, Lydia. Unlike her, so mean and rude. And she clearly is shameless too. She seduced Marcus. Don't talk to my mom like that. You hit me, Henry. Come here. Stop! Who is pulling my crack crack up? Mr. Smith, it's me. Why are you pulling my great grandson and my great daughter-in-law? Mr. Smith, Henry pushed me. I didn't touch him. Bullshit. It was you bullying me, so he pushed you. He Just let go of it. Mr. Smith, you're being too nice to Henry. You spoil him too much. He doesn't respect others. It's not for you to say that. I know exactly what you're up to. Listen to me. As long as you're alive, you will not get what you want. Let's go. Let's go have lunch. Claire, forget about what Louis said. As long as you and Marcos are happy. Grandpa. Where is Marcus's father? Marcus didn't tell you. His father passed away. His last words were to take care of Louise. That's why I let her stay. Didn't this bad? She'll be so greedy. What about Lydia Davis? About her. Better. Then Marcos tell you. Fine. Looks like they do have a history together. Excuse me, Grandpa. Stop there, Claire Young. You act like you're at home. Smiths are the first family. You'd better know you're not good enough for them. I'm not sure about that, but I know you're not. Otherwise, you won't be jealous of me. Up with Marcus. Perfect match. You can't compete with me. I'm telling you, you can't compete with me. Before I went abroad, Marcus told me he would marry me. Then why did he marry me? And we have a son. You shameless bitch! You hit me! Yeah, I did. I need your Davis! You don't want to disrespect me! I don't care who you are, or if you are his first love. If you dare to bully me, I will fight back. Marcus did marry you, but you still have to respect me! He married you because of Henry, not because of you. You are just the slut who seduced him. I'm the lady of the family. You are nothing. He will ditch you soon. <gasps> you say what you like. If you can take my slap. You know who my dad is? No, that dad is. Nobody ever does this to me. Ah. Uh... You're welcome. You fucking bitch! Lydia Davis, I'm not a doorman. You don't want to bully me. You are not capable of this. 
You bet! You'll regret! Lydia. Dad, your tea. Why are you being nice to me? I was always nice to you. You told me to come back, and here I am. You... You didn't come back for me. I know you come back for Marcus. Dad! Dad! Forget about me and Marcus. I'm not for him. What do you mean? You've been together for a long time. When I sent you aboard, you blame me for bringing you up. I do love Marcus. He's got himself a wife now. They had a son. What? I'm going to talk to him. No, Dad. It was me who ditched him. I can't blame him for getting himself a wife. This was on me. The Smith was in trouble at that time. I couldn't let you involved. I understand that, Dad. But I couldn't leave Marcus alone. He used to love me a lot. Now he bullies me for his wife. He bullies you? How dare you? She after the Smith's money. She seduced Marcus with her body. She can't treat me like that. She can't take away Marcus. <laughs> I know what to do. Sweetheart, don't worry. Mrs. Smith wants to marry Marco. I will take care of this. Really? Your birthday is coming. Let me talk to Mrs. Smith to announce your engagement with Marcus. Can we do that? Of course we can. The Smiths won't be against it. Lydia. The Smiths are regaining their strength. They are now back at the top of the game, the first film. If you can marry Marcus, we can work with the Smiths. You got it. Yes, Dad. Yes, a rest. My dad is right. If I announce it at my birthday party, the Smiths will not embarrass themselves for her. Marcus can only marry me. Claire Young, your happy days are over. Why invite me to your first love's birthday party? Jealous. Jealous for what? Didn't you say it's not time for you to go public? These are people I know. Do you want to come with me? What, are you scared? Scared for what? She invited me. Wasn't my first lover. Go to bed. Marcus, you're here. Mm. Where's my present? These are the newest limited edition bags. So many limited edition bags. How much of these? Marcus is generous. For real, the Smiths and the Davises are close. Of course, earn the money for her. Lydia, who is this? What does she get? Must be Marcus's friend. She doesn't have a gift. I won't blame her. I do have a gift, but I don't know if you would like it. Huh, what kind of gift that is? A very thin one. Is this just a birthday card? What's wrong with you? Are you trying to embarrass her? What? Your bride? Check out what's in it. A thin red envelope. Yo, 50 million. 
No way she's got that much money. Fifty million isn't much for me. I don't know Miss Davis well, but you tore up my check. You should pay for it. Well, it's just a check. You don't have to make a fuss. Nonsense. Apologize, but pay for it. Just apologize to her. Sorry. You haven't seen much of the world, so petty. Don't rub her nose in it. It's my birthday party. Let's get into it. Miss Young, can I borrow Marcus? Do you mind? Though I would pay attention to you anyway. It's my big day. I'd better have a partner. Thanks. What's Let's this? Go. It's my birthday party. Thank you for everyone here. You are my distinguished guests. Hope you can enjoy yourselves and enjoy the party. Thank you, Miss Davis. It's our honor to be at your birthday party. The man next to me is Marcus Smith, and also my fiance. Mr. Smith's girl with Miss Davis' childhood sweetheart, perfect match. They look good together, perfect couple. Everyone, today is my little girl's birthday, so we take this chance to announce the good news. I hope our families get better. Good. A combination of powers. The Smiths still thinking of it. Where is Mrs. Smith? Right, Marcus. Where's your grandfather? You two agreed to get engaged by yourselves. Your grandfather must wait to this. Go get him. Who says I engaged to Lydia? I never say that I am not engaged to Lydia. And Marcus, are you out of your mind? Marcus, don't do this. Tell them you're joking. Otherwise, you will make our families humiliated. Lying is just humiliating. So Marcus didn't want to engage her. It was all an attempt by Davis. He is married and has a son. I don't understand why she did that. If I lie to everyone here, I will lose my credibility. Besides, my wife is here. <laughs> This is my wife, Claire Young. I need a word. Give me a second. Apologize to Lydia. I don't need to. Do what you done. You humiliated us in public. You marry a random woman. How are you going to read the eyes in their eyes? You don't have worry. You've been good to my daughter. Otherwise, I wouldn't have agreed. Now you reject us in public. You have no respect for us. You may not know, I married Kaleya. She is and always will be my wife. I have told Lydia when she returned. What's wrong with you? You love her this much. For real? For real? For real? My wife and son are waiting. Excuse me. I don't want to upset Grandpa. Maybe Henry can stay here for now. Hmm, I'm busy. Let them drive you. Okay. Grandpa. Hey, my boy, good boy. Henry, how about you stay here? I will pick you up in a few days. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, come with me. How can I help you? 
Mark is rooted for you doesn't mean you're one of the Smiths. Not gonna happen. That's better than you. You linger in someone else's house. Where is your house? It doesn't matter what you say. Marcus loves me for sure. He was pissed because I didn't tell him in false. <laughs> That's some well talk. Let me tell you the truth. I was pregnant with his child. Think about it. If he knows I was pregnant with his child, is he gonna keep you? Tell him whatever you want to say. If he wants to divorce, I'm fine with that. You mean you don't care about him? You marry him because of Henry. Whether it is or not is none of your business. I don't have to explain everything to you. <laughs> Claire, yeah, I will make you leave Marcus for good. Hello? Get the car ready. I'm going to meet Marcus. Yes. I'll stay with Marcus. Don't have to pick me up. Yes. Marcus, I'm sorry. It was my bad. Don't be mad at me. I was worried about you. Cut the crap. Okay, get out. Marcus, I was right. I recorded her words for you. She married you for Henry. Tell him whatever you want to say. If he wants to divorce, I'm fine with that. You mean you don't care about him? You married him because of Henry. Whether it is or not, it's none of your business. I don't have to explain everything to you. Marcus, I... Shut up. That was a suggested question. You recorded it and said it to me, so I will divorce her. You think I'm stupid? Marcus, I didn't. I... Lydia Davis, I was nice to you because your father helped us. You know exactly I never love you. Don't mess with Claire again. I will seek justice for her. <laughs> Marcus! The subscriber cannot be reached. Please try later. Claire Young, it's time to figure out whether you love Marcus or not. Hello? Claire. Terio. I'm going back to sign the contract. You're going back? Hmm. Do you want to grab a drink? Yeah. You name the place. See you in the evening. Claire. Terio, been a while. I didn't know you were back. Cause I miss you. This one is to you. You help me a lot. I want to say thank you. You're my friend. Cheers. Claire, do you really love Marcus? Hello, do you know where Claire is? Okay, I get it. Why do you ask? I wanted to tell you when I was born. You're drunk. Terry. I'm married. My son is five years old. I know. I don't mind, Claire. Do you really love like Marcus? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did not answer my call. Drinking with him. I guess you're Marcus. Nothing special. Marcus, let him go. He's my friend. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Claire. I bet you've forgotten who I am. I'm your husband. Claire. Eh, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
以后我就该怎么样？你听到我给我听。Don't do this, Marcus. He's my friend. A friend that you meet in the pub at night. She was grabbing her hand. If I want to hear about that, what you having is bad. I don't have to explain to you. And now marriage is like a job. I don't have to explain to you. Claire Young, don't be unreasonable. Go get the reasonable one then, Miss Davis. She's there waiting for you. Fine, Claire Young. You will regret. Hello, Miss Xiao. What did you say to Marcus? He is that drunk now. I took him to the hotel. He can't drink. Now he's drunk. He's going to have a hard time. What happened between you two? We were. I don't know what was wrong with us. Claire, Marcus' mother passed away early. He's vulnerable. He always keeps things to himself. But I can tell he cares for you. If you mind his relationship with Lydia Davis, you don't have to. There was no relationship between them. She was like a little sister to him. None of my business. Hello. What? I'll be right there. Claire, it's an emergency. Can you look after Marcus for me? Thank you. What? Thank you so much, Claire. Don't hold back, or maybe Lydia will take the chance. Done. Because, bro, I'm done everything I can for you. He said Lydia would take the chance. I don't care. They knew each other since childhood. I'm just his hired wife. What am I thinking? He's my husband. I won't give him up to her. You sure Marcus is drunk and he's in it? Yes, Mister Yeo took him here. He just left. Good. Go get me a room key. Yes. <laughs> Marcus. Marcus. Marcus, you know who I am. Claire. Can't you get her out of her head for a minute. Yeah, I'm Claire. Do you want me to stay here tonight? Claire Young. After this, I will be Marcus's wife. And I'm sure you won't be able to be Marcus's wife anymore. Claire, he is yours. <gasps> Claire Young, what are you doing here? <sighs> Sorry, Marcus called me, so I'm here. Congratulations. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing here? Get out, Marcus. I don't want anything. I just want it tonight. Tonight. Think of it as your way of making it up to me. I've taught you before. I never loved you. You were a little sister to me. But no, you made me sick. Marcus, I can clear the room key. Help you get back together. Clear. Maybe I was too serious about this, Marcus. Have you ever loved me? We need to look real. I bought you this just to put it on. Yeah, 
Mrs. Smith, isn't it the Global Limited Edition ring? It's worth billions. Ah, oh, is it? <sighs> he was just pretending. It looks like it's time to leave. Look out, door four. Terio, what are you doing here? I'm fine. No, you're not. I've been following you. It looks like you are right headed. Could you mind to tell me? You used to wander around when outset back in the days. You are aboard. It's about Mercus. Claire, why should you? You're too good for him. You're right. I've made up my mind. Let's go. I need some rest. Okay. Let me take you to my hotel for your safety. Okay. Marcus. Fuck off. Marcus, I know you hate me, but I have one last thing to tell you. Say a live. Look at those pictures. Claire Young isn't what you think she is. She pretends to be a good wife. In fact, she's having an affair. I know you hate me. I don't want it to be cheated on. That bitch, she doesn't deserve you. I... Enough! With those pictures, you think I'm stupid? My relationship with Claire is now your business. I will take care of it. You need to leave now. Get out! Where were you last night? You didn't pick up my phone. None of your business. What? You spent the night with Lydia. I can enjoy myself too. I didn't touch her, I promise. I can't be sprained. I... You don't have to. I have a headache. Let me explain. I didn't touch her. Believe me. You don't have to explain your relationship with Lydia. I don't care. What do you care? Your relationship with Terrell. You followed me? What? Now you care. You care about Terriel? Let me remind you. You are my wife. I know it well, Marcus. I want a divorce. Claire Yao, I don't have a relationship with her. Let go of me. Fine. You want a divorce so you can be with him. Let me tell you, I won't divorce you. You're not going to be with him. Marcus... Should we still be together, huh? It's not their fault, but we have no faith in each other. Yo, I, the, tick, Henry, we should go home. Claire, why are you picking a Harry? Grandpa, I don't want to lie to you. I'm divorcing Marcus. But Henry is my son. I can't leave him here. I'm going to file an application to get custody of Henry. No way. Harry is my son. You can't take him. I'm his mother. Of course I can take him. I nursed him for five years. Besides, no one can find me here. Marcus, why are you doing this? You will have your own kids. Just leave Henry to me. No reason. I won't divorce you, try me. You don't have a chance. Let's go.
Marcus. Mom. Henry. Mom. Henry. I know what to do now. I will get them divorced. Marcus cares for that little bastard. I should start with him. <laughs> Harry, I spoil you too much. You don't respect me. God, stay with him. Don't let him have without my permission. Yes. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Miss Davis, Mr. Smith said not to let everyone in. I bring Henry some fruit. Only take a few seconds. Third. Henry is just a kid. What if he starved? You don't want to piss Marcus off. Okay. Henry, do you miss your mom? I miss her. I want to help you. But if I call your mom, your dad will be pissed off. What should I do? I can call her. Smart boy. Hello? Mom, don't leave me alone. Henry, whose phone is this? What? He put you under house arrest? Don't be scared. I'm heading to you. I'm leaving. <laughs> Claire, yo, I'm here for you. Miss Smith, Mr. Smith said nobody gets in here. Please leave now. What if I get in there? Are you gonna hate me? I won't. Tell Marcus, Henry's leaving with me. Tell him don't do it again. Those dirty tricks don't work for me. Step aside. Mom! Are you alright? I'm scared. Don't be. I'm taking you with me, okay? Let's go. Claire Young, don't you say thank you to me. He was calling you by my phone. You help me out of the blue. What do you want? I was thinking it's nice for you to take the kid, so I can have my own kids with Marcus. You better hope it works out that way. <laughs> but letting you two go so easily, this is too good for you. Let me give you something. No! Ah! Henry! Henry, you're awake. How do you feel? Is your head still hurting? Don't touch him, Claire. Back off. If you have a problem, come at me. What push a child? Why accuse me? You pushed him yourself. Why slander me? Nonsense. Henry's my son. Why would I push him? Of course, because you wanted to take him away. Marcus, I saw her forcibly taking Henry out of the room. Wanted to take him away. Don't believe me? Ask the security at the door. They said she came in and took Henry away. When I tried to advise, she scolded me for meddling and threatened to teach me a lesson. So, you're trying to frame me for harming Henry. I underestimated your abilities, Lydia. But you overlooked one thing. Children don't lie. Henry, did you see her push you? Don't lie. Every time you lie, you can't look at me. Did she really push you? Mm. It was mommy who pushed you. No, mommy didn't push me. Me being accused doesn't matter, Marcus, but Henry can't be influenced negatively. She suddenly appeared, probably trying to rely on her son's status. Now that's not working, she wants to take Henry away. Shut! Claire, tell me. What's going on? Grandpa, can't you see what's happening? Someone is staging a melodrama here. You are too overbrave. Dad. Don't worry, I definitely get justice for you today. You heartless bitch, causing harm even to your own son. I don't know what this means seeing you. Apologize to my daughter right now. One with a skinny mind, the other can't distinguish right from wrong. Truly a family. What are you saying? Better her than be gratified here. This is improperly, Mr. Davis. What's the point to investigate? My daughter is kind-hearted and she will the hairless. Will she harm a child? It must be this woman staring my daughter. Do you have any evidence? 
my daughter say herself. One more invidious you need. So, you have no clue. It doesn't matter. I have it. So I can have my own kids with Martins. You better hope it works out that way. <laughs> but, having you go so easily, this is too good for you. You dare to record me? Bitch! You gave you the right to record me. Lydia, you... I'm just paying you back in the same coin. I know for a while your ill intentions. Thankfully, my daughter-in-law is smart. How do we want to handle this, Claire? It's simple. I'll hand it over to the police for legal action. Marcus, Mr. Smith, told you that. It wasn't intentional. I just wanted to scare Henry a bit. Someone is cutting out. Marcus! Take a kill, clear Harry, okay? Don't be afraid, sweetheart. Is your head still hurting? Do you want to take a nap? Daddy, mommy, don't go. I won't go. I will stay to take care of you. Go sleep. I will handle today's events well. I thought you would side with Lydia, considering you two are childhood sweethearts. I'm just an outsider. It's because of Henry. Great. Maybe it's better to consider the option of divorce. Henry has the right to choose. Oh. Daddy, Mommy, are you really getting a divorce? Mommy, Daddy, please don't. I don't want to be a child nobody wants. Don't worry, sweetheart. Mommy, just joking. We are not getting a divorce. Yes, sir, if you don't believe me. I was just joking with our little cutie. I won't leave you. That's great! Mommy and Daddy won't get a divorce! If you want them to divorce, there are plenty of ways. You are too impulsive. I underestimated that woman. She recorded me. Got me dragged to the police. The whole aristocratic circle knows about it. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. <sighs> Listen. Everything needs to be done with a method. You need to create an opportunity. Otherwise, how can you compete with such a scheming woman? They've patched things up now. Where am I going to find an opportunity? Sometimes you have to create your own opportunities. I heard that Clarence overseas lover returned. Are you talking about Terrio? Oh no. I've already taken photos of him with Claire and showed them to Marcus, but he just doesn't believe me. <laughs> he doesn't believe you. Why not turn it into reality? Once Claire and that guy end up in bed, even if Marcus still likes her, you won't be able to tolerate it. Hmm. I see. Thanks, Mrs. Smith. Hello? Am I speaking with Terrio? Who's this? I'm Marcus's special someone. I wanted to talk to you. Thinking alone here, huh? Looks like he's deeply in love with Claire. Was it to you? Don't be so hostile. I'm just trying to help. If it weren't for that accident five years ago, Marcus and I would have been together by now. But now, because of responsibility, he's with Claire. None of us will be happy. What do you think? You mean he's only with her because of the child? Exactly. How's that possible? Claire is also trapped because of the child. Sorry, can I have a drink?
I ordered an extra drink for you. Take your time to tell later. Maybe she's already wavering. How's that impossible? How would you know she likes you or not if you don't ask her? What's wrong? Got it. Wait for me there. No, don't go. Why not? Terrell said he's leaving. Just want me to see him off. I said no, so don't go. Can you just stop being so difficult? This is between me and my friend. You don't need to get involved. Sorry, Terio. I just can't be into you like that, you know? I bought two prime tickets tonight. Those love after is that to go to waste. It's okay. Just consider it my misunderstanding. Oh, Junko, how behave. You came at the right time. You can take Claire at home later. If you ever treat her badly, I'll snatch her back anytime. You won't have that chance. Besides, she's already mine. I live in. He's gone. What bother watching? Norris, that drink had something in it. Let's go. I'll take it to the room to rest. What's wrong? Look, so-called friend of yours. It can't be him. Otherwise, he would have stopped you earlier. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility for this forever. Here they come, here they come! Here they Mrs. Smith having a secret come. meeting with another man in the middle of the night! The news is too sensational! There that Mrs. Smith is the daughter of Young's from five years ago! Back then, wasn't she always up to no good? Miss Young, I heard you're already married to the young master of the Smiths! Why are you here meddling with other men? Miss Young, can you tell us how you managed to attach yourself to the Smiths? Any details? Doing such shameless things, are you afraid of setting on young master? You are in big trouble this time, Claire. Who's insulting my wife? Marcus? How could it be him? Even after the Smith has been hidden for a few years, they dare to cry out to my praise now. Decisive in dealing such matters, anyone who angered the Smiths disappeared overnight in the capital. I'm sorry, young master. We were blind. We will randomly report again in the future. Hold on. Pass the word. Anyone who dares to provoke the Smiths or insult my wife, I will let them go. Dad, Dad, please save me. I really know I messed up this time. The police are already investigating. If you don't help me, they'll report and arrest me. Why did you have to mess with my curse? This time you were lucky it was just struck no poison. You wouldn't have enough to live if you were poisoned. I can't help you. Go apologize and beg for mercy for Mercus yourself. I really didn't mean it, Marcus. Please forgive me. I won't dare to do it again. You shall apologize to Claire, not me. Miss I'm sorry. No need. I can't accept it. You should pay the price for your actions. What do you want, Claire? I can give you anything. Money or a good job. How'd you let me off? Then who won't let me off, Miss Davis? Do you know the feeling of being out of control, at the mercy of others? Do you know the panic and helplessness? Maybe I should give you a taste as well. Why are you pretending to be innocent, Claire? Weren't you just seducing Marcus? 
You keep saying I seduced Marcus. Why would I seduce him? Of course, it's for money and status. Women like you, from humble backgrounds, always trying to latch onto a rich family. I don't have to latch onto a rich family because I am already from one. Open your damn eyes! This person here is Miss Young, the world's wealthiest woman. She found it is quite good for her son. Impossible! Claire is the world's wealthiest woman. How is that possible? Someone take this woman to the palace. No, it's her. She's the one. She gave me the drugs and told me to harm you all. No, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. It's her. It's her. I can see she wanted to harm Marcus. You bitch! What nonsense are you spouting? I treated you as a daughter-in-law before. Are you free me like this, Marcus? I am your mother. Even though I'm your stepmother, I never wanted to harm you. Save those words for the prison. How dare you! I'm your mother. Your father said I'm forever Mrs. Smith, no matter what happened. Shub. Don't think I don't know about the little schemes you've been up to. You know the best why Marcus were drunk five years ago. If not for Marcus' father's sake, you have died a hundred times over. Someone took them both to the palace. Yes. Dad, let go of me! Dad, please save me! Your long-standing trouble has finally been dealt with. Still have a headache. Bring on this lovely double stop. Now you got title markers. We are planning to give her a wedding. That depends on her. What are you looking at me <laughs> for? We've already decided to get a divorce. Since when they are going to a divorce? Didn't Marcus always say, "This is all for Henry's sake"? A loveless marriage has no reason to exist. Hey, Gavin, could you do me a favor and schedule a time? I need to go to the authority for a divorce. Yes, Miss Yang. Indeed, the worst richest woman. That's right, so Marcus, go ahead and pursue your lady seal. Gotta pursue her for sure. Today is the anniversary of my parents' passing. I'll spend some time with them. Let me arrange some other guys for you. No need. I want to be alone for a while. Sure. Mom, Dad, I've come to see you. I ran into that guy from five years ago. I was about to fight you. Are you at the company? I'm on the way to see her. Marcus, my boss went to a cemetery to visit her parents. I'd be worried that something might happen to her. What's going on with her? The Lydia, they say she's gone crazy and got locked up in the mental hospital. I just got news that she escaped. Do you think she might retaliate against her? I'll、uh, go find her. But I don't know. If I should be with him or not, Marcus is mine. Lydia, how did you become like this? Isn't it all thanks to you, you wicked bitch? I only drugged you a bit, and you threw me into jail. Do you know how terrifying it is in there? Calm down. It's because of you that I ended up like this. Why should you be the world's richest woman, and I'm just a prisoner? No, I am the world's richest woman. I'm a wealthy young lady. You bitch, go to hell! Huh? Ah! 
Are you out of your mind, Lydia? Marcus, my dad disowned me, Marcus, and now you've abandoned me as well. If you don't want me, what's the point of me being alive? Are you okay? I'm fine. Why are you here? I'll take you away, even if it means my life. Watch out! Ah, wake up, Marcus! Are you okay? Don't scare me! Marcus, last time he suffered a severe head injury, the doctor said he should get injury again in mind. Actually, I quite like you too. I promise, as long as you wake up, we'll be together. Forever, okay? Really? You're a liar! I just read it a moment ago. But when I heard your confession, I woke up. Do the words you just say no count? Then are you willing to marry again? I do. And I caused Claire to suffer in the past. Rest assured, from now on, I will take care of her. You are making us too good. It's so touching. I can't help but want to cry. Since you're so moved, then I leave the planning of our wedding to you. Ah, uh, how did it become my responsibility? Wow, it looks so nice and so beautiful. So beautiful. Congratulations, congratulations. The bride looks so beautiful. Exactly, she looks stunning. Now, let the couple face each other. Groom Marcus, do you willingly take this beautiful lady beside you to be your wife? In sickness and in health, in poverty and wealth, to love and cherish her? I do. Bright Claire, do you willingly marry this handsome gentleman beside you to be your husband? In sickness and health, in poverty and wealth, to love and cherish him? I do. Someone call our doctor. Ah, uh, I am the doctor. Good news, Miss Yang is pregnant. Earlier, it was just a fainting spell due to physical exhaustion. Great, wonderful news. Nice, great. Excellent, perfect. 